Hello everyone, welcome to episode 15 of our Feed, of our Feed the Beast Let's Play series on Dive 20's 1.6 point, well not 1.6, 1.7 mod pack. So, last episode we did some miscraft, and what I want to do is I want to double my ores without having to rely on the smeltery, because it's a bit of a pain doubling ores with the smeltery, come on, let's be honest. So, sorry, let me just turn my music down a little bit, and actually turn my FOV, the, oh, there we go. So, what? You're probably thinking, what are we down here for? Well, what I want to make is a sag mill. It's thermal expansion is pretty expensive, and I don't really want to get into that right now. So I think that I can't put any items in here. Oh, looks like we're out of storage on our ME uh, drive. So it looks like we're going to have to do that pretty soon, but let's look up a sag mill. It is a NVIO machine and it likes to double your ores. And it's got a pretty cheap recipe too, so let's look at flint. Do we have any flint? Oh, a bit low on that. Do we have any gravel though? Yeah, we do have, we have a little bit of gravel. So I'm going to place that down, see if we can get some flints. Okay, I've got one piece already. And that's pretty good. Now let's just so we can. Oh, got a bit of lag there. Can we still. There we go, and that's another piece of flint. And we also need a um, machine chassis, which requires a bit of iron and a basic capacitor. Now, so we don't quite have enough gold nuggets. Let's make a few of those. What? That's a bit, that's a bit weird. Let's see if I can. There we go. So one of the, one of the one of the basic capacitors, now let's make some iron bars because oh, do we not have any iron either? Oh, I don't have any iron let's take a minute to go and throw some iron in the engine condenser then because we don't appear to have any so let's just put this in here hopefully, oh that's made quite a lot of iron let's put that back in there and let's go back downstairs so, let's see, let's make our iron bars. Oh, they're not even in the system, that's why it's not working. Let's see, iron bars, there we go, oop. Messed that up a little bit, ooh. So I think I'm just going to take out these illumination panels, because we don't really need them. I think I'm actually going to turn these into bright illumination panels. There we go, now let's put these in the system. I think maybe this episode or the next episode I am going to actually make the um what's it called? The another drive. Now how are we for wood? Do I have any I don't have any wood either. So I'm uh I'm going to have to go and actually get a little bit of wood, but I, I think I'm actually going to have to sleep first because... Oh yeah, I actually downloaded a... said the pneumatic craft was supporting a wiki, but the wiki was not installed, so I clicked to download, and I installed the wiki, which is pretty simple. You, you just have to go into chat, click on download latest, and it will download the mod. The folder will pop up, and you have to restart your Minecraft client, which I have not done which I will be doing for next episode. So we'll have an in-game wiki, apparently. And I love living in near this orchard biome, as it allows us to have very easy access to these apple trees, which are pretty cool, if you ask me. So let's get back to base, and let's with making our sag mill. So where are we going? And I can show you sort of the interface and how to deal with it. So let's put that in there, let's make a piston. There we go. Oh, well, looks like we have run out of room in our A system again. I'm going to take out these cracked stone bricks just so I can put the piston in there, and then I'm going to make. Okay, it looks like I didn't put my flint in there. Cool. A sag mill. So these illumination panels, they do work like torches, and just. I believe they had to be powered maybe by AE. Do they have to be powered? Yeah, they have to, this have to be powered. 
and then they will eliminate. So just temporarily I'm going to put the sagmill on top of here just so we can have there you go, it's building up some total buffer and do we have any ores to process? Yes we do, I'm going to process some copper ore stick that in there, I could probably do putting an export bus let's see, I'll search up bus one export bus, and what's that, storage bus? No See an export but oh that's two export buses. That we need an import bus and also some ME cable. And what we're gonna, we're gonna do is automate us giving this so we need an import bus and an export bus. There we go. We're gonna need to import anything from it, we need to export um I believe you need to actually add capacity upgrades to add more stuff in there and if you look at this cable, we have used A out of 8 channels. I don't believe these actually use a channel. No, they don't. It's anything with an interface that, that uses a channel. So, they 8 out of 8 channels because these just use power. But these use channels because they are receiving data. So, we need to export uh, ore. I'll just get some of this copper ore and then I can set that to export from the system into there, and I'm going to add a capacity upgrade so it can fit more in there. So it's always going to be active, the configuration, and you can see the mod author gave us a nice little interface where we can interact with it so I can make it say output out of there. I think I want to make this a push and this a pull. So it will pull items from there, but I don't think that's necessary due to we have the import buses and I can see it's shown us that we have it energy cell below it, we have a dirt block there and it's a pretty nice interface. We can also look at the recipes that we can do stuff with it, so it shows us that our dike can made into everything. So the good thing is you have a chance to get other types of dust and also you can have flint in the other slot, make it more efficient. Well we won't have much gravel, so flints we're gonna be a little bit short on flint. There we go, so flint can be put into this slot up here and that will increase your efficiency and chances to get other things like gold, ferrous, um, and a few other neat little dusts that you can get. So it looks like I'm not having too much luck here. So I'm going to get some apples. You know, I don't think I need this, this linking book anymore to the overworld, so that's um, the sag mill. I'm also going to add a furnace. I believe a furnace is added. Actually, no, I believe it's called an alloy smelt. smelter. Let's see. Alloy smelter. Here it is. So it requires a furnace, a cauldron. I don't really know why it requires a cauldron. Let's see. Let's make one of those. Ah, oh, so it looks like we're having a problem here because we can't store enough items, guys. So thank you for watching this episode of Feed the Beast. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and for next episode, well, in, in a few future episodes, I plan to use big reactors to generate some cat power. As I've, I've looked at a few mod spotlights, and the mod looks pretty interesting. So thanks for watching, and remember, take it easy.